Convenience store woman. Alright, let's talk about this book. This is a little book, 163 pages, very short, like short height-wise and lengthwise. A little backstory first. For quite a few years, I was a labor organizer. Prior to that, I was a server. As a server, I became involved in my union, which led me to become an organizer. I was what you call a rank and file organizer. Reading this book reminds me a lot of a key belief in organizing and that is that all work should be respected both financially like through obviously pay or you know benefits health insurance things like that but also just respected because someone is doing a job this book is about a woman named i hope i say it right kiko and she works at a convenience store and she's done so all of her working life. She has friends that question why she's still working there. She's not embarrassed that she works there, but she feels like she's supposed to be embarrassed at working there. And so she even goes as far as making up lies to tell people uh, about why she's still there at, and she's almost 40. It gives her a sense of purpose. It gives her a sense of routine. She likes the way the convenience store sounds. There's so much about her that loves the convenience store. In reading this, it reminded me a lot of fast food workers because oftentimes we consider fast food work as a job for a young person. It's a job that you get when you're out of high school and for some reason, because it's a job for young people, we decide that they don't deserve as much pay as someone else. We look down on the job. We especially look down on people who still have this job well after high school. So those are the, that, those are the things that Kyoko is struggling with. Those questions, those concerns are very much on the surface. You know it because Kyoko's talking about it. She says, I don't understand the problem. She wants to be socially accepted, but she also loves the convenience store. And so, you know, that's right out there, said in the words of the pages. The thing that I find so fascinating about the way Sayaka Murata, I hope I'm saying her name correctly, has written this book is that she did make Kyoko someone who appears to be on the spectrum. And so as a reader, you're reading about Kyoko and her love for the convenience store and you're rooting for her. You're like, come on everybody, leave her alone. Let her, let her work at the convenience store. She wants to work at the convenience store, let her work at the convenience store. And that's how you feel when you're reading this book. And I think what the author is trying to do is challenge you even with that thought. Why is it appropriate and okay? Why are we fighting for Kyoko when it should be appropriate for anyone to work in a convenience store? Anyone should be able to work fast food and make a living wage. Why shouldn't people be respected in their jobs, both financially and socially. Why isn't it okay to work at a convenience store as a 40 year old woman? Why isn't it okay to work fast food? There are a lot more themes in this book, but I think because my background is in labor, those are the ones that really stood out to me. I would be very curious to hear a mother's perspective after reading this book, just given the way the family reacts to a, a lot of what Kyoko does. I'd be curious about friends, people in relationships, people from a different angle reading this book. I'd be very interested in their opinions about it because I feel like for such a tiny little book, there is so much to unpack in here. I loved this book. I thought it was great. Would I recommend Convenience Store Woman? Absolutely, 100%. I feel like this is the type of book that when you read it, 
you're challenged a little bit. It's making you think a little bit differently. And there's other characters. There's more in this book than I'm even talking about. I'm just talking about the labor aspect of this. I like it. It was a great book. I think people should read it. I think people, if you read it and you don't like it, I'd be really interested in knowing why. Why didn't you like it? Because I feel like sometimes we don't like things that make us feel challenged. Maybe they don't like the writing. I don't know, because there, there is a style to it. But that's Convenience Store Woman. That's my thoughts. Have a good day. Goodbye.